Today we are at the San Jacinto Very good. Battlefield. <laughs> I practiced that several times Sounds off good. camera before. <laughs> but we're at the monument right now and you can see this guy. Yeah. It's pretty high up there. It's a big monument. I know that. I know what you want to say. <laughs> it's killing you. Just say it. No. Okay. I'm not going to say it. I was going to say that's what she, she said. said yes, <laughs> it's big, but we're gonna go. We're gonna go up inside of it. Yeah. There's a monument deck. We had no idea. No. We were just planning on going to see the thing because it's huge. Yeah. And then there's a battleship. Yes. Over battleship Texas. On the other side of the yeah. park. So first we'll see the monument. We'll go up in the monument, mm -hmm. and then we'll go see the battleship. Okay. All right. Let's go. If you can see it or not, but we're at the tippy top of this joker now, and and, and it's, it's big. Yes. 15 feet taller than the Washington Monument. So if you've ever seen that in person, because I know that this camera is not going to do this, this thing justice, yeah. but just to give you a scale, 15 feet higher than the Washington Monument, which is pretty high. We've never yeah. seen that in person, but no. well, I'm sure it's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Let's look out some windows. Okay. We're sitting on the curb, <laughs> crushing the monument because we came and saw this this marker and wanted to know what it was, to see if it was like a historical uh, Mar marker, mm -hmm. tell us about some of the history. But it's even uh, cooler, more interesting <laughs> than that. It's a time capsule, and they put some historic documents in there in 1960 that have to do with San Jacinto, and uh, they're not going to open this bad boy until 2036. Yeah. On. Which it really isn't that far away. It's really I not mean, now. If you think about, it's you know, when 16 years away, when they buried it, they're thinking like, "Geez, it's gonna be uh, forever, forever now." But, but now we're in 2020, and I'm really only 16 years away from opening it up. Because it, I think it said it would be on the anniversary, 200th anniversary of San Jacinto. Jacinto, uh, yeah. Santa, yeah. Santo. Jacinto. Jacinto. God bless you. Jacinto. <laughs> April, April 21st, 2036. Set your countdown <laughs> clocks right now to countdown see the exciting clock. time capsule opening of San Jacinto. <laughs> well, we mentioned before that the monument here is 15 feet taller than the Washington Monument. Yeah. We did look up the pool, however. Yeah, the reflection pool. Is not as long mm. as the one. No. In Washington. The one in Washington is just over 2,000 feet long and this one's 17 and some change. Almost 18. Yeah, yeah so um, beat them on the monument, <laughs> not so much on the pool. No. <laughs> well, Battleship Texas is closed indefinitely yep. for extensive repairs. Which she does need. You can see. <laughs> she's in pretty rough shape. Yeah, she needs um, more. I don't know how old Getting the ship sucks. is. <laughs> yeah. I we'll have to look online to see how work. old the battleship is. But yeah, you, you, you hit it. Getting old sucks. Yeah. There's some more stuff to see out here though. They got some um, great markers and some stuff. We'll go out, uh, walk by the uh, by the bay yeah. and see some of the ships going by. pretty cool out here I, it's kind yeah. of disappointing we didn't get to go into battleship yeah but um we got to go up in the tower and that's really cool it, and w not on purpose but we ran into some more graves yes <laughs> there's some <laughs> there's some folks out here that are buried uh that fought in the battle of jacinto yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um and then some some markers that just kind of commemorates them uh there was the, the pecan tree yeah. From Sam Houston's house, which is pretty cool. Yeah. 
So they took a pecan tree from his house and planted mm -hmm. it out here and then dedicated it to Sam Houston. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then you got the poor guy who's buried in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> and like, this is where we want to put the parking lot, but this dude's buried here. So he just build around. They just put him in the median. <laughs> they lost one spot out of the deal. Uh, yeah. But he, he hangs out right there. And he's, it's pretty peaceful right now, I guess, because they're not doing the battleship thing. So yeah. that's, that's the parking lot that he's in. I mean, he's, he's been there since 1900, so. Yeah. He's resting peacefully. Yeah. And, and we finally caught a break. We finally caught a break on the weather. I mean, it's a decent day. It's still a little Yesterday chilly. It was decent too. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, the sun's out. Yeah, it's beautiful today. It's, the wind uh, is calm. Yeah, so we can actually vlog outside. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's pretty... so we're happy for that. Hopefully, the good weather sticks around and follows us to Galveston. It's not. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Next week's crappy. I don't hear you. <laughs> Boo. Maybe it'll change from now right. to Tuesday. Well, let's see what else we can get into in Houston. All right. Let's go. It looks really nice out today, but it's a little chilly, so we decided to do some indoor stuff. Yeah. So there's a couple museums that we wanted to hit in Houston. So today we went to the Holocaust Museum. stationed in Germany we, we went got, to Dachau yeah we got to go to the concentration camp yeah the interesting part was when we went to Dachau it was in the winter yes we went in the winter it was snowing there was no foliage on the ground no um, they still had the bunkers up where the uh, where the prisoners were were held and slept where they ate yeah where they worked and you really get a good feel for it in the winter yeah because we were dressed head to toe, puffy jackets, yeah. scarf wrapped up, and to see the pajamas that they wore and the wooden shoes or something. I can't imagine how they didn't get frostbite. Yeah. Um, I'm sure some did. They're malnutritioned. I mean, it was just, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful that we went on a day like that yeah. to get the real feel for it. And then when you go to a museum like this, we we're, we probably aren't going to show a ton of footage from in there because yeah. we really didn't shoot a lot. It's a very somber yeah. place. And um, man, if you get a chance to come though uh, to Houston to the Holocaust Museum, it was nice that they had a theater that uh, played survivors who talked yeah. and shared their stories. And that's why we didn't share a lot on, on film either because a lot of it was just videos where you sit and you listen to the stories and you see the images of the Holocaust and just yeah. how tragic that was. I can't believe that something like that happened. Yeah. It's just so crazy. That we let something like that happen. It's just so crazy. Yeah. But um, it's part of our history. We want to pass down um, this history to our children and their children and their children yeah. because if you don't learn from history, you will repeat it. And we don't want anything like the learn Holocaust your to ever happen again. And on Thursdays, Two to, to five. five, it's free. free. And today's a Thursday. <laughs> we came here at two o'clock and so it was free for us. Yeah, normally it's $15 a person. Yeah. Uh, then we went over to a little bit funner of a museum. Yeah. <laughs> the Museum of Health. I think your boobs hit 60. <laughs> your boobs hit 60 before your hand hit 90. <laughs> you don't have to stretch. Jeez. Yeah, just go. Good job. He said that that's an eye. 
Doesn't look like an item. Don't, don't say. Can I say the English accent? <laughs> looks like a, a butto. <laughs> looks like a, it looks like a bloody butto. <laughs> it looks like a butto, it does. <laughs> it's an eye. They say. We had a little fun in there. Yeah. We got some people staring at us. Yeah. Because again, it's a place where you probably would have kids. No, we did not. We did not have kids. <laughs> but we took some, some great photos. We had some fun on their little, uh, um, well, their little activity centers and stuff. Yeah, interactive <laughs> stuff. So we did that. And, and, and we chose to go today as well because yeah. on Thursdays from 2 to 7, it's free. free. <laughs> at the Health, Health Museum. Um, so we figured we'd knock them both out. Yeah. And actually we parked in the Holocaust parking lot, the Holocaust Museum parking lot. And it's only about a half a mile walk from here to the Health uh, Museum. Yeah. So we just stayed parked here. We walked over there, uh, yeah. walked back, and now we'll only have to pay for parking once. Yeah. And totally free for yeah. both the museums. Yeah. Now it's uh, just after three. So we're gonna try to beat the traffic rush and get back, get back home. Yeah. And then Did we'll you have a good time in Houston? Yes. What's your favorite part? <laughs> the funeral museum. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Duh. Durr. <laughs> I think that's one of the funnest, best times we've had so far. Yeah. Is Houston. And like I, like I said, when we were live, um, and not necessarily the stuff that we saw, but all the people we got to see. Yeah. With uh, donating the money to, to combine arms. Yeah. And meeting those people with the mission continues and uh, we got to meet some Instagram friends, friends that we went to the RV show with and uh, Some military friends. Yeah, some military friends from our from our past and uh, So we had to do a bunch of cool stuff yeah. and it's all a little bit of like uh, some very uh, Little known places the art car museum. Yeah, was really cool really small But they change stuff every once in yeah, a while. So, so if we get, ever go back. It's not gonna be the same car Yeah, you get to see new so cars. That's cool. Unfortunately, we weren't here at the time. They do the art car show which Parade. Sounds, the parade. Yeah, the art car parade, which yeah. sounds really cool. That does sound cool. They have video of it there, uh, which we sat and watched a little bit of it, so that, that looks, 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 looks pretty cool. But like I said, we went to the RV show. We weren't planning to go to the RV show, but we had some friends on Instagram that hit us up and said they were going to be there. And I wanted to know if we wanted to go, and mm -hmm. we never passed up the opportunity to go to an RV no. show. <laughs> <laughs> so we went. And Leslie is now. It was a roller coaster of emotions. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Yeah, Leslie was like it was fun and depressing. And... Found the RV she wants, but um, but our RV is really cool. I know, I love, love our, our RV. RV. But you always see new stuff. It's like the I newest. Hate when models go drastic right after we buy something yeah this one was really cool because it had a, a bar in it mm -hmm. two big tvs there's a tv behind the bar and there's a tv that you like sit and watch and it so, had the light color walls yeah it was already light color we wouldn't have to paint even it. the window treatments because they were faux wood so it was yeah. not fabric and i'm like that's very modern and fitting for us yeah it didn't look like the box it had a walk-in shower that was awesome. And it like had, it was like gray marble looking, had the little seat. Yeah. It's gorgeous. It was a nice RV. Yeah. 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 And it was a <laughs> foot shorter than ours. Though when I went online, yeah, it's an inch longer according to the manufacturer. Oh, an inch longer. I can't go an inch longer. It's 35 feet of my cutoff. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> An inch is nothing. It was really nice. It's gorgeous. RV. But, um, yeah, we got... We got a girl can dream. Yeah, I think we got a few years left in this one before we start talking about changing it up. I can't imagine what will be available then. God. Yeah. 
we already saw all the cool other stuff that we did mm -hmm. when we were in Houston. But I, you're probably wondering, uh, the scouts over there bobbing, establishing <laughs> dominance. I'm in charge. I'm in charge. <laughs> Yeah, um, you're probably wondering why we didn't go to NASA, the Space Center, while we were in Houston, mm -hmm. and there's a good explanation. Yeah, uh, we're headed to Galveston next, so we didn't. We're not going to go far. We're going from Houston to Galveston. It's so like an hour. Yeah, from our, where we're at to where we're going is like 45 minutes, and uh, it's actually closer. Puts us closer to NASA. Yeah, our next spot in Galveston will be closer than where we are in Houston. Like half the distance. Yeah, so we're like, well, we'll wait till we get down to Galveston. Plus, mm -hmm. um, Shelly and Greg from Dave's Great Adventure, yeah. they are gonna be a little bit closer to Houston, and so they wanted to go to NASA. And so it's gonna work out to where we're gonna be able to meet. Meet up and go to NASA And together. go hang out to NASA together. So you'll have to wait until you get mm -hmm. the, the Galveston video comes out yeah. to see NASA, but um, it's gonna be fun. But Houston in general was, was great. I was quite impressed. I didn't, I, was I didn't have high expectations yeah. for Houston. I didn't really either, but... And I, I didn't just know really much about Houston, what yeah. it had to offer. It offers a lot. I'm surprised. And really, I was thinking, like, it's a huge city. It's just going to be a pain in, in the butt. I think because we didn't enjoy Austin so yeah. much because of the big city congestion, yeah. construction, one-way streets. We were, like, turned off. So we're like, oh, well, Houston's probably not going to be much different. Yeah, but Houston was really pretty easy to yeah. navigate. Yeah. Uh, the city is beautiful. We never were really stuck in bad traffic. It no. moved. Uh, we we got to go to the XFL season opener. Leave us a comment and mm -hmm. let us know if you guys are watching XFL mm -hmm. this season because we went to the first game in Houston, Houston Roughnecks against the LA Wildcats. And they won. Not only did they win, it was fun, man. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's a lot faster pace. It is. They uh, hit hard. I really wish all football was like that. Yeah. Shorter clock times. Yes. Yeah. I like the rules. Less waiting around BS and yeah. just to get a play started. And it was super fun. Yeah. And we got tickets for free through Vet yeah. Ticks. So we'll put a, a link in the description to Vet Ticks. If you're a veteran, uh, you get free tickets to stuff, man. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. We got this shirt. Roughnecks, home opener. They gave us each a free shirt when we came in. Yeah. And so that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. And and I'm on the back it says it says Kroger. Yeah, and, and they all say Kroger, so they must like be he that Kroger must be their best player. He must be really good. good. Yeah. Like, because he whoever <laughs> Kroger is must be really popular. They put him on all the He's shirts. on all the shirts. <laughs> He must be like the best. He must be like a quarterback or something. Yeah, he must be. <laughs> Go Kroger. Yeah. <laughs> Kroger MVP. <laughs> uh, but it was really fun, and they were there's not a really a bad seat in the house because no. they only sold tickets to the lower bowl. Yeah. And well, we got tickets free anyway, but we were mm -hmm. we were like 17 rows up from the field. Mm-hmm. Awesome tickets. Free for us. Um, the fans are really into it. Man, I'm telling you what. Houston fans are for real. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 Oh, and the other thing is um, we went to, uh, what was the name of the place, the, the bar we went to after we made the donation? Um, I forget the name of the bar. Lucky's. We went to, we went to Lucky's yeah. to, to eat lunch after we made our donation to Combined Arms, and the news were there. Yeah. The news people. <laughs> and so they're talking about the Houston Astros cheating scandal. Yeah. And so they wanted to talk to fans about it. So they, they talked to uh, one of our CVMA friends and interviewed him. He's from here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is a, uh Astros fan. His wife's a Dodgers fan. So they're like, you know. Yeah. So he had a really different, a different opinion, opinion than yeah. she, she did. <laughs> but uh, they asked if, if I wanted to, to be interviewed. And if any of you know any uh, retired first sergeants <laughs> in the military, of course we want to talk. Yeah. <laughs> so, I always have something to say. Don't ask me if I want to talk. Of course. I always got something to say. Yeah. So um, they're like, are you cool to be on camera? I'm like, Look, uh -huh. I'm on camera every day, man. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> Google me. <laughs> I want to look me up yeah, sometime. <laughs> But we didn't call it the B word. No, no. 
<laughs> but um, but yeah, I was like, well, I'm a Cubs fan. If that if that's okay, yeah. and she's like, yeah, we want to get different opinions. They'll stuff. still let you be on camera. Yeah, so they did interview me, and I did in, end my interview with Go Cubs Go, yeah. and they edited me completely out of the news. They did not put me on TV. <laughs> In all fairness, they didn't put anybody in the interview. No. It. So I think the story got scrapped. Actually. I guess so, but I was like, man. I, nobody from the bar was on TV. I think even if I would have made it, they probably would have edited Go Cubs yeah, they Go just out. Cut that anyway, off. just because they're in yeah. Houston. But um, anyway, I think that um, I think we're Roughneck fans now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we like the Roughnecks, and we just so happen to be here for the. I like the colors opener. too. They do. The that. uniforms yeah. are cool. It's, it's well, we like anything with like the red, white, and blue patriotic kind of yeah. look type deal. They got the the like Metallic platinum helmet. Helmets. It's really sharp. Yeah. Plus, they're good. Um, I don't know what the record's going to be by the time this <laughs> video airs, <laughs> but they're two and zero right two now. Yeah. And they're playing really well. Um, mm -hmm. So, great time in Houston. And we're looking forward to going to Galveston. Bunch of stuff yes. going on down there. They got Mardi Gras going on down yeah. there. We got the Which pier. Which we did not know well, we that no that idea. even existed. No. A Galveston Mardi Gras. No, because when we, when we were booking Galveston, they're like, oh, well, we're filling up because of Mardi Gras. I'm thinking like, man, people are booking pretty far away from mm -hmm. New Orleans to get a spot. <laughs> it must be like <laughs> They're hopping. serious. Yeah. But I didn't know they had a Mardi no. Gras down here, but yeah. they have a Mardi Gras down here. I heard it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then it, we're, and it's not as crazy as more. yeah i guess it's more family oriented For, yeah that's what everyone said it's not really like yeah i'll give you some beads if you show me some mm -hmm. things yeah and stuff like that you know yeah i don't think it's that rowdy <laughs> well we hope you had as much fun mm -hmm. in houston <laughs> as we did showing it to you um we can't wait until we get to galveston to see yes. all the cool stuff there like we do at the mm -hmm. end of all of our videos we're going to honor a fallen hero we appreciate you watching mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.